Okay, what do I have for me today? Let's see here, what do I want to fix? Easy answer would be this one and this one. But this one has been looking to be fixed for a long time. It doesn't really need much, but it needs a lot. So I think I'm gonna get this thing to be a roller today. I need to fix that one too. That way, I wanna pull this out anyway so I can stack some tires up on this, um, whatever it's called, pallet. Get some tires up on here, like get these tires off the ground and um, get this thing at a rolling stage today. So let me go ahead and pull this thing out of its graveyard and get it into the big cave. All right, quick over this thing. It looks like it had a remote start on it. Oh, push button start, not remote. Here. So it's a Manko Power Sports something or another. So very durable. Looks like it's missing some uh whoo i'm out of breath that took a lot out of me it looks like it's missing some burns Let's see if i can find something to replace it but i gotta put well the plate back here for the um for the engine make new seats for it clean it up Put a spindle and steering. Watch me dig on there. Too easy. Looks like one's here. It's like rusted. So let's put some WD 40 on it. But I'm going to spray this down, clean it up, get this thing ready to be pretty again. So let me get the hose out. Okay, so now let's see it's an interceptor two. Blah 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 blah. I don't know what it says on here there, but yeah. You clean it off, you can actually find out what you have. So this is the Manko Interceptor 2. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that I'm sitting on the gold mine or not. But I know that put this thing together and get it gone. I'm mad at myself because I let this thing, this thing was in good condition when I got it. Now it's got a lot of rust. Where I don't need the rust like right here. That's not good. And there. Oh man, here. All right, so let me flip this thing up and clean the bottom. I don't know if y'all noticed, but the engine mount is missing. So I dug it out. It's gonna fit one way or another. So, found that right there. But it looks like these are on backwards. It's like, it needs to be flipped. So, gotta figure out how I'm gonna take it out, take it off, and flip it back the way it's supposed to be because this right here is for the brake, and this is the brake. And all this stuff is just like chaotic. Like, look at it. Oh boy. It's not gonna be a quick roller, but what I wanna do is weld on this plate, get some steering on it, throw some wheels on the front. I got some tires off of a air compressor that I'm gonna throw in. I wanna keep this thing with small tires somehow. See how it works. All right, let me dig more stuff out. All right, now that we see that the rear needs a lot of work, let's uh get some spindles on this thing. Maybe. Uh, the linkage to steer it. Oh, there's a pedal. Let's see which one do I need? This one. Yeah, everything's here. So, these are the same. Wow. Minko, man, I love it. So they all match. Let's get this on here. And let's see if I can find that spindle. Oh, no. What's in here? So 
sort of thing. I'm gonna find the spindle and then I'll be right back. All right, so I came across an issue. The spindle is like longer than the one I have. Like, it's half, well, the one I, that's on here is half the size of the one that I need. So I'm gonna have to replace them both. Hopefully I can get this off easily and then go ahead and uh, make this happen. If not, I have to cut one. So let's see what we can do. All right. So it's spinning inside and slowly coming off. put this one on this side all right so that's not gonna work so I'm gonna have to drill like a hole here away it'll get more of a swing Goodness, man, this is just not working out for me. So I got to cut off some of this for it to work. Set. I'm gonna go get some lunch. And when I come back, put all this stuff together. This is crazy. I might just have to get in and drill everything out at the same length. Give me an official roller, cut that, weld that. Then I gotta make some seats. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, lunch time is over. I'm about to go and find some wheels for this thing. And I know I got some uh, wheels outside, so I'm gonna try these first. All right, so I have these. How hard would they be to get them off? I don't know about that. But this is the one I wanna get. They look like they'll work proper like. And I know I got twos for them. Looks like I pop the caps off somehow. All right, so I'm gonna take this inside and pop them caps off. All right, let me see if I can pop this thing off. It looks fairly simple. And I did have the right tool for it. There. Now that I say it, it's very simple. It's not going to be. Hmm. Let's see here if I can get this in here. There we go. Woo. That's off. All right, the rounds are still good. Man, that's 
some good steel there. That's why I haven't thrown it away. All right, let's get this other side off. Actually, let me make sure this fits on the wheel. Now let's see if it fits on the wheel. Like we want it to. Oh yeah, perfect. Get some, uh, let me see how this holds up. I'm gonna put some air in it. See if it'll hold up all night, overnight. All right, so I'm gonna get this other one off. Yeah, I'm gonna get working on the cart, like doing all the cutting and stuff. So let me get this wheel off. All right, so I got both sets of the, um, ah, what's it called? the dingo cart and I'm gonna go ahead and just drill a hole it looks like where this comes where it's bent perfect so okay we do with this one bit this is my chart bit yeah cutting right through this like nothing Butter. I think taking some abuse. It don't look like it's big enough. Nope. I gotta go up a bit. Alright, I'm gonna drill these holes and then I gotta measure this little pole for this side so we can have steering. And we'll have a legit roller. All right, so we got the wheel on. Test the steering. Yeah, it looks good to me. Good turning radius. All right, let me tighten this thing down. And get on the other side. All right, I'm gonna attempt to weld this thing on straight. Let's see how this thing, Let's see how this goes. Turn it on. That's what matters. I'm trying to get this thing in here as straight as possible. But I know it's going to be a little bit crooked. Now, it's fairly straight too. Now I have to cut this in off. Cut this off. Let's see, this wheel is still straight. Now where I want to cut it, it's like right.
measure. It's still straight. What I want to do is cut it right there. This should be perfect. Now I can turn this. I don't have to worry about fucking. See how horrible of a cut I did. My bad. Gotta clean it off a little bit. Clean that off. I can clean this without I need to get another wheel should go right in there Feels straight. Let's see if this will hold it up just at the right height. Nope. That's perfect right there. Let's get this last tack in. And we are steering. the wheel on even though it's flat and put another inner tube in it tonight Alright, 
now. Let's weld on this. Who's steering? At its finest. Check it out. Ah! Oh, guess not. This is not at its finest. Alright, let me put a better tack on there. Good thing I did that. Let's get this. Since I'm at it, I'm gonna get a let's make sure it doesn't do that again. You know, we got some good steering. All right, now let's move back to the back.
still solid enough. All right, so that's that. Now I got to get this axle out so I can flip this around because this is on backwards. And it doesn't look like it's going to be easy because it looks like it's a little rusted on. So I guess the only thing I can do is soak it with the, the DB blaster and see what happens. All right, but actually, I know what else I can do. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Uh... foot pedal so I can mount that because and I'm at the I gotta re relocate this because that's crazy so I'm gonna cut the foot pedal and cut this off so I can relocate that here yeah here would be a good spot let me go ahead and switch out the blades all right so Got the foot pedal cut off and a little bracket for the throttle cable. So now let me weld the throttle cable back on and we'll move back in the socket. It's starting to get a little chilly. Never done like this before. I don't know if I should, but here goes nothing. got to be the worst welder ever hopefully this doesn't break off uh, if it is it all right welding for now because I'm at the weld the bottom half of this as long as it's holding it I'm fine all right let's take it inside well I wasn't recording that whole time but I got this thing on and this wow sorry cooled off mint the roof brace for that actually the only thing i need to do now is switch that um i'll show you let me turn the car around to do it i gotta switch this around because see this little bracket the little brake goes around this piece but this is on this side and this is on this side they're on the wrong side so i gotta push this all the way out well not all the way out just far enough to be able to flip this around and bring it back in and hopefully that'll be an easy feat i'm gonna lube it up right now and change this tire and then i'm gonna try to um, um hit it through if not then it's what it is i'll figure something else out maybe a little heat will do it all right let's move over to the table with this tire all right so I'm letting these soak for a little bit because they look rough. And while that happens, I'm going to clean up my little chaos right here. Make room so I can do this easily. And I need to search for them. What, size 4? Yeah. 
size four inner tubes. All right, so I already started taking these off. Man, a lot of these, like, they're just coming right off. So I don't know if the little lube helped, but I'm cool with that. Size is 14. Engines everywhere. See here, it's on. It's off. Man, easy day. I'm really worried about this bus enough to change it. Look how easy that came off. That's what I'm talking about. These bearings are so good. Like, right, look at this ripped. It happens. Make sure this is the right one. It's not a five. Go over here. Throw some air in here. Like over here. Perfect. Nothing is in here to uh, destroy it. I bought these inner tubes by accident. I don't know where it stopped. I ran out of storage, but I put this in, put in the uh, little thing. I forgot what it's called. Now I'm going to put it over here, inflate it a little bit, and then install the rim. See now, the rim will not pinch the tube because it's like nowhere near it. And it's like dimples right there and matches up with these little holes right here. So you cannot be steered wrong. I don't know if I should put them in back. Yeah, I'll put them in like this. I'm gonna put them in like this now, that way. Let me see what the other rim looks like real quick. That's how it is anyway on the other rim. So I'm gonna put this rim back together, put it on the cart, let y'all see how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna see how this holds up. And actually, I think that's what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do for tonight. I ran out of storage and that makes me mad so this is all i'm gonna do for today tomorrow tackle this axle 
and get everything hooked up. I also need to order a brake. But I'm tackle the axle, tackle the seats. Um, I got a um, throttle cable for it, so that's good. And I gotta find some tires, some wheels for this, and one more bolt. Am I missing bolts on both sides? Actually, I need two more bolts, so that's all in tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and see you next.